Okay, perfect. And we are live. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to a very special edition of Off the Record on the People's Podcast this evening. We have a magnificent guest with us today, one who's going to give us some amazing information as well as inspiration, and that is none other than our brother and recurring guest, uh, Student Minister Abdul Sharif Muhammad. I sound like him, sir. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, sir. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come on the People's Podcast again. Um, well, right now, the whole nation and the whole world uh, kind of took, you know, took a step back and paused to celebrate and commemorate the life of our brother, Brother Joshua Farrakhan. Um, but I wanted to give you a chance to give us uh, some insight about what it was like knowing him for so many years. And, you know, share with us things people may not know about him. When did you first meet Brother Joshua? I met Brother Joshua in 80. Mm. And I'm telling you, man, I, I thank a lot for the Honorable Louis Park for bringing Joshua and his mother bringing him into the world. I met Josh, man. When I met Josh, I met a, a real brother with a heart of gold. I'm not in the fact that I mean he loved his mother and his father and his, and his siblings, but I've never met a man that I mean he really wanted everything his father wanted. He wanted to help his father bring it into fruition. Mm -hmm. And Josh is kind of brother like this. He's keeping one hundred. He didn't care who he were. <laughs> That's why they call him Sarge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he would keep it one hundred. And I'm telling you, he would give you literally. He would give me the shirt off his back if he had to. Mm. And I love him for that. But I love him also because him and I always kept it straight, no matter what. That's what attracted me to him, and that's what attracted him to me. And to the very moment. I mean, my man Josh, man, I, I feel that loss. So I know everybody else feels lost. But my man Josh, boy, I love him so much, son. That's why I named you after him. Mm. And then in turn, he named one of his sons after me. That's the kind of love we have for one another and have for one another. I mean, Josh is my man, man. When I say that, I mean it. Miss my brother. Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, he, 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 I mean, he's a, he's a different kind of human being. <laughs> I love him, though. Yes, sir. And he showed nothing but love for me. That's the kind of man he is. I mean, Beautiful. All praises due to a lot. Yes, sir. Well, I wanted to ask you, speaking of, first of all, I want to let you know people are showing you love all around the world. You were saying praise be to a lot. Naima says, I still make my family like Islam. Uh, so, Brother Eric Johnson is like Islam, but Captain and Brother Josh and praise be to a lot. But Cedric, wow, people are saying beautiful. Okay, but that I have a lot of, uh, well, let me just be clear, I have a few friends, but if, probably on my hand, people I'm at my wedding, uh, when I get married, and I love these brothers, but I don't think I love any of them enough to say I want to name my son after them. <laughs> <laughs> how close? How close did you have to be with somebody to name you know one of your children after that person, and then vice versa? Like you know, what made y'all so close? Man, love, God, love, mm. and He saw the love that I had and have for His father and family. And I saw how he treated my family and me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was like bond. That I really can't describe the feeling of love and affection, not in no darn foolish kind of way now, that I have for Josh and he had for me. I mean, it was Josh that called me when the Honorable Louis Farrakhan got to go on the, the world tour. He talked to his father. And it was Josh who reached out to me. I got to tell him. Mm -hmm. They called me and said, Dad, so you can go. I said, what? It was Josh. Mm -hmm. He said, you get it right. We'll get, get dressed. You better come on, pack up. That was Josh. <laughs> and then you know he had to say, now nah, nah, you know, you know, yo. <laughs> yes, sir, Josh. But he always looked out for me. I'm talking personally. And he always wanted Everybody that came around to meet his father, and he would break security to bring people to see his father. But he had his eyes open, but he wanted the quote unquote the little man to see and meet his father. And he would make sure you get a picture 
no matter who you were, he will make sure you get a picture with his mom. I mean, that's the kind of love that Josh has, have, and I have for him and he for me for him. And that's why at that time that I didn't hesitate to name you after him. Mm. And he didn't hesitate to give stuff to me in return. That's the kind of love that all black people should have for one another, I'll say. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Okay. And I wanted to say that that um Brother Joshua was the one who would get us pictures with the minister when you would be busy and you know being a minister when we got older and you became a regional minister, he would see Naima, Rashad, me, and Mimi. He would see mom and he would make sure that we got to see the minister. He would always ask us, are y'all straight? Like just like, I mean, he showed love when nobody was around and and he would always, of course, ask about you, but he looked out for our family and he looked out for the believers as well. And I just want to um, make sure that's on the record that the picture with No Father, No Excuse, my book, um, it was Brother Joshua who said he would make sure the minister see it and get a picture with it. I was like, okay, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, when did you, uh, how did you all start working with each other as far as security? Well, it was a long time ago when I came <laughs> when the minister was touring. And when he would come to the city, Brother Akil, can't leave Brother Akil out. Him sure. and I were like twins. And we would travel with the minister, and Josh would be there tugging on with the, uh, the duplicators <laughs> and setting up mm -hmm. the duplicator and to, to record the minister. Uh, at every lecture, it would be Josh. And then Josh and I hit it off. So I hooked up with Josh. Brother Akil hooked up with Brother Mustafa. And we became so tight. Mm. And uh, but Josh was like economic, but who's was the military, mm. Mm. But both was security, yes, sir. But so I and I am and I gravitate because of the economic piece, yes, sir, as well as security. And my key with Musa was security, and that's how we started our path. But what people don't know is that when we started coming around out of DC, we had to earn our way around Josh would improve. We didn't just jump up and walk and get in the minister room and all that kind of stuff. Brother Akil and I, we would go and the minister would come into a, a, a D.C. to speak. And Akil and I, we would be standing outside the minister's door all night mm -hmm. on post. That's the kind of spirit we had from the beginning. And then Josh <laughs> would come to the door and peep out the window. And uh, he would say, uh, Crack the door and say, them damn twins. Because <laughs> I killed now. We used to dress it like, and slam the door in our face. And we would still stand outside that door to secure the minister. We didn't care if we get in the room. We wanted to secure the Humble Rules Fire Car. So we stayed out in that hallway all night long. Mm. And then when Dr. would get up in the morning and look out there, he'd say, the twins still out there. And we would stay there. And then, one, then gradually, he brought us into the security room. Before we got into that main room to see the minister, they watch and observe. Mm. And that's why I love him and Brother Moose for this very day. Because I know they love their father. They love their family. But I know on the road traveling, they love their father. And they looked out. That's real. That ain't fake. And they monitored us. And then that's why we got close and close. And then the rest is history. But yeah. we earned it. We didn't just jump up and they let us in. Oh, no. Yes, they sir. served us for a while. But I love everybody. Video of it, every minute of it. Yeah. Uh, praise you. So, uh, yes, sir. And people are showing you up all around the world. People saying from headquarters, Chicago, Miles, Miami, Miami, uh, Sabir, uh, Brother Benny Jr. says, I'm making that, Brother Benny Molson. Yes, you. sir. Uh, Brother Gardian from uh, St. Louis, Brother Nelson Ramos, I'm uh, Mimi says, I'm making that, and Josh. Eric Johnson says, uh, <laughs> and say, and shout out to our YouTube family as well, uh, Brother Nel um, Nelson Ramos. but Brother Kente, Brother Musa, Sister Auntie, everybody who shows love on YouTube as well. Thank you all for watching. All right, uh, Dad, can you let us know a story about Brother Josh that about the minister's love for Brother Joshua? Oh, it's so many of them. Let's see. Well, I know, especially when we it was in traveling overseas, and uh, I think we was in we was in Ghana. Right, we was in Ghana getting ready to go to another country. And Joshua got sick. And he really didn't, uh, they didn't have the medical, back then, 86, they didn't have the real medical facilities mm. over in Africa at that time. 
the minister made sure and Josh got sick. He knew Josh was sick. Man, he sent Josh back. Got their plane, got him on plane, him and Brother Akbar, and made sure he got all the way back to America and get the medical. So the minister showed between Josh, he showed up with love. Yes, sir. And yes, I sir. know he loved Josh. I don't care if nobody take it any kind of way. I know that he loved him. And Josh loved him. Not slightly. Nobody. But that I know I was there. And I've been there. And I know. Josh yeah. loved his father. Yes, sir. What about Mother Farrakhan? Oh, mm -hmm. man. He always talked about his mom. I don't think mom never knew because we didn't really talk about that. But Josh always talked about his mother and the love that he has for his mother. And he talked about his siblings too, but for the minister and his mother, but he always made sure that we knew that we loved mom. Because you hear a lot of people say, so I'm like brother minister. Everything about brother minister. Oh, Josh will say, oh, oh mother Parker. <laughs> 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 so that's my Josh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Beautiful. And that what advice do you give to uh, parents um, with raising children to show like unconditional love? Because all of the minister's children always you know, we're standing by him, but no matter what Savior's Day I was at or been at since my whole life, if I saw Brother Joshua, when I saw Brother Joshua, I knew that the minister was going to hug him and he would be around Mother Farrakhan. What advice would you give to parents who raise children um, about, you know, showing love to their children? I would say to parents, don't judge your children. Don't judge your children. Have patience with your children. I said, the minister said to me a long time ago, you know, you know, because we love to judge because we, our life coming up may be different for the younger life that's coming now. The minister said to me one day about today's saint can be tomorrow's hypocrite and tomorrow's hypocrite can be today's saint. So if your children may be a little wavered today, but tomorrow they may change. Mm -hmm. If you give them an opportunity, stop judging. The scriptures say, who judge you will be judged. Mm -hmm. So be patient with your children. Take time with your children and communicate with your children. They have something to say. So take the time, parents, and talk to your children, especially now, because mental illness is running rapid in this world. And the things that we see now, we didn't see maybe yesterday. They didn't have to contend with during our time. But now this enemy is so wicked. Through food and water and chemicals, they alter our children's mind. So be patient with them. And don't hesitate if they cry out for help. Let's find a way to give it to them. So be patient with your children, family. Be patient. Don't judge. Beautiful. Praise be to a lot of people showing love all around the world. But that there have been a lot of people who um, I could classify with pictures from the 80s that you will uh, take pictures with in the photo albums in the 90s, to the early 2000s, and then now. But it seems like there was never a time where I didn't see Brother Joshua Paul to check on you through me, but of course calling directly to yourself. What made you all so close from the 80s until you know now, recently? Yeah. Because we was truly brothers to one another. And in order to be a true brother to one, you got to tell the truth. Whether you lack it or not, you have to tell the truth. But there's a way to tell the truth. You don't have to tell the truth when you condemn someone. And if you happen to condemn the person, leave the person up when you leave them. Mm. I was talking to Josh. I would tell Josh, Josh, you know I love you, man, but I know you can help your father. And he would just love. Sometimes Josh and I talk for hours. But we talk straight talk. And he knew I was genuine, and I know he's genuine. So to bring that, to build, like I'm saying, to build that brotherhood, and we always had God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Listen, no matter what. But people don't want to understand that. I always kept God on Josh, and he'll bring it, put it right back on me. Yes, sir. Yeah, but he was so, Josh was it's a genius. That man good God about him. <laughs> oh, he was smart. Super smart. And I was attracted to his wisdom and knowledge and whether you know the man is like his father. See, maybe some don't understand that, but the man, he, he come from his father and his mother. Josh is I mean, the heart, he has a heart of gold. I know, man, a man, like young man like 
like that, man. And then that's why you love the animals. Man, just love. Got <laughs> God, man. <laughs> I tell you, why you love Because, you know, I got a little problem with animals, but I deal with it. He loves him. Man, look, let me help. I mean, he just loves animals. He loves human beings. He loves nature. And he always wanted love for his people, no matter what. That's what made me love. Because Joshua, genuine, what you see is what you want to do. Yes, you ain't sugar cook nothing. That's my name. Oh, praise to Allah. Yes, sir. Beautiful. And thank you all. Uh, thank you all for watching. Sister Brenda says, I sound like I'm a family. Um, Sister Jamila Fia says, Beautiful Vice. We are at war for the hearts and minds of our children. Thank you, everyone, who's showing love all around the world. Now, Dad, on a lot of the people's tributes uh, to Brother Joshua Farrakhan, he had the 10,000 fearless hat. He wore jack, uh, the sweatsuit, but he also wore 10,000 fearless flip flops at Savior's <laughs> Day in the lobby when I was with him just last uh, Savior's Day. And we we were um, the day of the drill competition. He called me and, and it was like two hours. You were calling me to make sure that like we got on time to be sitting down for the drill competition. And I was like, Dad, I'm OK, I'm coming. But Brother Josh called me like two hours before that. And had me going from this place with him, that place. He was just walking everywhere. And everywhere we went, he kept bragging about. Um, the fact the way you presented the 10,000 trailers to him and to the, the person he was with and the box and all of that, <laughs> you know, so it, what does it feel like to know that you, you know, you, by the grace of God, you created um, a clothing line or, you know, with the 10,000 fearless and here's brother Joshua Farrakhan representing it everywhere he went from head to toe, literally. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. Josh knew and knew that anything that Don Luz Farrakhan asked especially me, to do, I'm going to bring it in, by the grace of God. And he knew that 10, 10, 15, when the minister said he wanted all of us to go back to our cities and set up the 10,000 fillers and uh, conflict resolution centers, God blessed me. I was the first one to do it. And I came up with the, with the line for the 10,000 fillers. I want people to know that's what the minister said. A lot of people got confused that it's, it's me. It ain't me. I carry out what Donald Lewis Farrakhan said to you. Exactly. And Josh saw that and he said, send me some clothes like he wanted to wear them. He said, look, I'm going to show the dad and mom because he put in, I sent him the outfits. He wanted for his uh, fiance who was with him. Yes, I sent it to him to them for, for her. And he wrapped the 10,000 fillers all right. over. When everybody else seemed to be afraid to do it, Josh got plenty of heart. You know, <laughs> you know, that's what his father wanted and wanted. It's the 10,000 fillers to go out into the community and make it a safe and decent place to live. That's what the Honorable Bruce Park got told all of us to do. And God bless me. I went out there and we went and we got them. We got them all over the country right now. Conflict Brothers Sims over. And Josh, yeah, I'm going to rip. Wherever I go, I'll represent him. Because Willie, yes, sir, yes, sir. And I love him. Now he's he's gone, but Josh still is pitching with the 10,000 fillers. He's still repping. <laughs> That's my man, Josh. My man. And that's what his father wants us to do. The core in the community. The minister would tell us, get out of the mosque and get into the community where our people are and make it a safe and decent place to live. And by the grace of God, that's what we'll do. And Josh wanted to make sure we kept it out in front of the people. That's what he did in this doing. My man, Josh. Yes, Love sir. it. Okay, okay Dad, want, now a lot of people see the um the nice side of brother joshua and um the funny side of brother joshua due to some of the interviews of people's podcasts by the grace of Allah. but you you said that he was always on security for his dad too can you let us know the security side of brother josh i don't think a lot of people know about that that's why you got that that's why that really name came from sarge mm, mm. because that security part would pop in he look a lot of times people go to sleep and stuff sarge will be up and josh will be up <laughs> He'll walk around and make sure those that are supposed to be on security is on security. Mm. Check him. Because he loved his father, man. And he ain't want nothing to happen. He would get up in the middle of the night sometime and walk around. You see him walking around. You think he just walking on. He's checking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then if you see where someone needs to be chastised, now he'll do it. He had no problem. Brother, don't you pull to be on post? And mm. then he would check, brother, how long you've been on post? Mm. He had no problem. He was security minded. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My man. Joshua Park. 
Yep. Beautiful. Praise be to God. And that people showing you love, Sister Martha Shabazz. And thank you, everybody who's watching. We can't wait to put this on YouTube. Brother Joshua, definitely um, someone who should be studied. And we appreciate the love. And for him constantly coming on people's podcasts. And I just love how you loved you, Dad, as a brother. When, no, when there was no cameras on, right. nobody was around. I saw that you loved my father and always checked on him and vice versa. And I, yes, dad, I really think that he's your friend. And ain't no doubt about that. I don't, there's no doubt. <laughs> Josh not talking, ain't no camera, but nobody. But just him and I will be communicating. Always show love for me. And it was time when it got a little, where well, yeah, it sometimes seemed like I was having a little issue getting back to see the father sometimes. Mm. Oh no, come on. <laughs> My man, Josh. Josh is boy, he's something special to me. I know he's special to his family. I never met a man like Josh. Man. He's a very unique human being. God made him that way for his father. Yeah, Josh is a special human being, a heart of gold. And I think I got a chance to see Josh from another few that maybe a few other people didn't get a chance to see Josh. And Josh loved his family, man. He do. And I'm saying to all, if there's any children, listen, listen, look again. Don't judge. I don't know where I come teaches us. Don't judge, lest you be judged. Look again and reason. You don't know. God is real in all our lives. You don't ever forget that. Excellent. Yes, sir. Then we have one more question. But that can you yes, hold up the uh, oh. final thought so everybody can see oh, you know the new edition of the final call? The yes, new sir. edition of the final call. Beautiful praise be to us. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that everyone um, continues to uplift our brother's name and uh, show love and to their family, uh, to the minister's family, to his, uh, the community, to the friends and the loved ones. We love you, brother uh, Joshua, and we love the family. We love everybody who's, they should see some of the comments on his interviews, and um, man, it's just beautiful. And I'm glad that he... Uh, Long live Joshua Park. I mean, I yes, love Josh and family. Oh, praise and if the minister happened to look at this, love you, brother minister. I can never tell. Thank you enough. And thank a lot enough for having the opportunity to have met you and all that you have allowed me to do. And I hope I don't disappoint you. I just want to do whatever you ask us to do. Love you. From Only Joshua Park. Beautiful. I'll praise you to a lot. And on that positive note, we want to thank you all for watching. This is Joshua Leonard Muhammad signing off of the People's Podcast. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you. Here we go. One second.